Yes, people, Ricky here from Behind the Bars TV. Today, I've got a uh, Travis Dickinson on, and he's going to talk about his journey and how he's getting to where he is now. He used to be, for the viewers that don't know Travis, yeah, Travis used to be a professional boxer. He won the prize fighter heavyweights. Light, heavy, light heavyweights. Light heavyweights, was light, it? Light heavyweights, sorry. Yeah, um, Travis has been in prison himself, but he's actually came out and he's turned his life around and it's good to see. But yeah, uh, we'll just get into it now. If, uh, if you just want to introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Travis Dickinson, everyone. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, so where were you born, Travis, and where did you grow up at? I was born in Edmondsley, a little village. You know, Edmondsley is only... Edmondsley, yeah, it's down near Saturn, isn't it? I uh, was born there. Um, grew up with my uh, two brothers and a sister. Grew up there. Kind of childhood, really. Uh, sorry, I always had grew up with like, horses and dogs and that. And Are you the youngest or the... I'm the youngest, sorry. The youngest, sorry. Uh, so your brother John, he was a uh, boxer as well. My brother was he was cruiserweight, British champion. They yeah, owned the Lance Hill belt outright. Aye, fucking defenders three times. So who was the other brother? Because I didn't realise. Oh, you. Mark, Mark, is uh, he Mark older? Dickinson, the oldest. He's the oldest in the family. Mark, Mark, we are. Guys, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's young in boxing. Mark Dickinson, he's pro Aye. now. He's had a few pro fights. He's just signed with Eddie Hearn, I think. So how did you all get into the boxing? Was it through your dad? It was my granddad. Your my granddad. granddad. I, we, my dad did a bit of boxing when he was young. Went down Chester Mill Boxing Club. Right. I trained there for a little bit and that. And uh, he didn't have any fights in our life, but uh, he was training all the time. And then we got a little bit older. We got a little bit older. My granddad took our journals down first. I didn't want to go, me. I, t- <laughs> I, was, I was scared to go. <laughs> I was uh, actually I played the violin when I was a kid, really. Did you? <laughs> I did. I before I started boxing. After a slight but uh, I had all sorts, tried all sorts. We was on running teams and shit like that. So, what was, what was life like growing up? Because obviously, down Edmondsley, it's a bit like. Like Stanley, they're all like little villages, aren't they? Nah, it's not Some much, of them are not, quite rough, aren't they? Nah, it's, it's not much to do. Like, it's, a, it's a quiet little village, like, but uh, see, there's not much to do. I was just out like, down the woods and that, and messing around. And fucking, I see, I see, like, I had dogs and that, maybe. I was, I was out with my nurtures, like, out hunting and that. So, did you just, did you just knock about in Edmonds, or did you go like down uh, south? Yeah, oh, I When I started getting a bit old, I started getting to Saxon, knocking about Saxon, mixing up there. So, what do you. Um, what age did you get into the boxing then? Or were you doing that? Like- I was, right, as we'd like, we'd seen, uh, seen my granddad took us down, my dad used to take us down when we were like fucking six, seven year old. My dad took us down, but then like, we're, we're like just training. And then uh, it was 11 year old when I had my first fight. When we saw so my granddad took us, I was 11 year old now. And where was that from? Was that, that Chester-, was Chester Moore? Chester Moore. Chester Moore, right? I, had, I had eight fights for them, won four, lost four, and then I packed it in for a bit. So when was, when was your first fight when you were 11? 11 year old, I was a couple of, I think it was a couple of weeks after my 11th birthday. So what was that like for you, being, being that age and going into, obviously you wouldn't be daunting for anyone, and nah, it, being at that age, it's like, I know. Yeah. or were you not really bothered because... I wasn't really bothered, I, was, I, I, I think I, was, I thought I was kind of good at the time, you know what I mean? Aye. I Nazim shorts. Hi, me and Lewis had a move for them, both had uh, Nazim shorts, leopard skin. Aye. Thought with the boys, you know what I mean? But with your brothers being older than you, you were probably you would have been... Ready for you because I was, obviously I was up, like, would have been fighting with your brothers, were you? Getting all, <laughs> all my life, like I. So did you start, did you just dedicate yourself to that or were you still knocking about the streets and stuff? Or the... So the way I used to, yeah, I said I used to work with my dad as well when I was young, you know, I didn't really get to school. Did you I used not? to work with my dad and then I'd finish work, get in the gym, Aye. come back. And then I'd get out on a night time, like just not about, not about not the street about time. Pals, I, I wasn't out long, so I obviously didn't, have much, didn't really have much time myself when I was oh, a kid. I was obviously working and training. Did you get into much trouble then when you were... Uh, I was a little shit on this. I was oh, a little, yeah. high, I was <laughs> shit like doing daft things. I was getting chased and that and police, <laughs> police phone in the house and that. And, oh, right. It's all fun when you're a kid. No, it, it, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Like, it's like you see when you're living in places like this and there's nothing to do. You've got to make your own way out of the team, haven't you? I definitely. So, uh, were you drinking when you were a, a young one? Not really. Like, uh, I'd have the odd, odd couple of cans on a Friday night. Maybe oh, like, that was when I was like 14, 15 year old. I'd, I'd have a couple of cans sometimes. Like, like my mum and dad didn't uh, oh, I'd get bad, I'd get bollocked then. But, uh, I see, like, we started drinking and smoking weed, not from the age of 11, but just we went into nothing like that. Not oh, I, see, stuff I, like I, that. I was never like, oh, like, like, not really into the weed, not like me. Like, no, well, that was, yeah. Uh, Obviously, with your upbringing and getting into the box, it's uh, been a good thing, on it, really? Uh, keeping definitely, you, mate, definitely. Keeping you away from all that. Definitely. So, did you ever get into any serious trouble with the coppers when you were younger? Not really, like, not. Um, 
Nah, I got pulled pulled in the motorcycle. Uh, I got pulled off the busy one to my brother's van. I was only oh, yeah, right. I was only fifteen then, but I was giving his give his name <laughs> and bill, you know, like I, he got to produce some of that for that. But not really serious, not like I got a bit older, really. So did you uh, obviously the skills that you learned in boxing that did you ever use that on the streets when you were fighting with? I was the uh, high. No, oh, people, people see on the streets like you're a boxer or a street fighter. Oh, yeah. You know, it's obviously you, you fucking you, you learn to you learn how to high punch. You learn, you learn, you learn how to take a punch. You're not going to stand. You're not going to stand and just start swinging. With you you know, you're not a box. So you stand on the street. So many times, big fellas, big like I was oh, seven, yeah. seventeen year old, not going to be eighteen strong catch yourself. Oh, yeah. We'll come running towards us, just bang, step to the side, bang, knock them out, <laughs> flattening every one of them. You know what I mean? I bet there wasn't many people fucking your age want to mess with you. <laughs> nah, it wasn't really. Like, no. Well, no, definitely not. So when did you have your first serious fights with the boxing and the pro fight? Like when you were younger as well? I when you were younger, I went to Burnley. Yeah. I see, I had eight fights for Chester I won four, lost four. Then I packed in for a bit and I went to Burnley. I think I had 42 for Burnley and won 40. 42, right? Won, won 40. I think I stopped about 25 of them. I boxed. I beat George Groves twice. Did you? Aye? Beat aye. him twice. I stopped and knocked him out in the first round. 18 seconds the first round, knocked him out. Uh, I boxed I boxed some good kids. I was on I was boxed for England and I won uh, I won two schoolboy titles, I won two boys club titles, I won the four nations, I won uh, like the sort of world championships over in Azerbaijan. Aye. I won the junior beers, I fucking won everything really. I so you done really well, done didn't really you? Well, so yeah, what, so what weirds were you fighting at that age? Oh wait, I got well, I got picked for the junior Olympics and everything, but I was too obviously I, as you I, got I was, bigger, you I, was been, I was putting aye. weight and weight and weight on. I put loads of weight on uh, the Burnley Boxing Club is one of the best in the country, isn't it? Aye, uh, definitely, man. Who was it that? Was training, was it there? Uh, Graham? Was Graham Rutherford, aye. Graham, aye. Yeah. got mint trainer, Graham. Aye, aye. Yeah. There's been a lot of people there, like, done good from down there, hasn't it? Aye, uh, definitely. McCormick, McCormick twins, uh, my nephew, Mark, it's Callum French, uh, loads of little lads. So your nephew, Mark, and that, are they still, they're just down there now, still, are they? No, he's training down there, Essex, him. Is he, aye? He's just saying, he, he was on with that, uh, Oh, I fell, the Irish fella who's been, who's been fucking, you know what I mean? The Irish, Irish promoter who's been banned and that from boxing. Oh, right, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? He was with him, but uh, obviously he's been banned and that from going anywhere. So he? he's, he's signed with Eddie Hearn. He's, right. been, he's been promised so many fights here, and that's what he, but he's doing, he's looking really well, Mark. So, t- round about the 18 year old and stuff, what was happening then? What were you? Started right there. Um, well, I can't remember what time I get, what year you turned pro. It was about 18, I turned pro. Is that when you turned pro? It was about 18, 19, I turned pro. And how many fights did you have of pro? Pro, I had uh, 20, I think it was. When 20 I was, fights, I lost, I lost two. Won the English title, I won the prize fighter. My brother won the cruiserweight prize fighter. I won the light heavyweight prize fighter. And then I went on, I won the English title, beat Danny, Danny, beat Danny McIntosh for the English title. And I was on Channel 5. And then I got fight of the year. The next fight I fought, that Maddie Clarkson. On Channel 5. Oh, I remember that. I got fight of the year for that. Mint fight, that one, wasn't oh, I? Oh, fight, that. So, who was, the, um, who was the lad that you fought at the arena? Newcastle Arena? Because I remember yeah, a lot of us yeah. came through to watch Spanish, it. Spanish fella. Was it, I? Oh, I <laughs> that was my last pro fight. Uh, my heart wasn't in the game then. I knew I'd, like, I, I, you know, I'd get out for all them, all them fights I've had in my career. Oh, I went out with like 70 fights. Went out and like, I was nervous, you know what I mean? That last fight there, yeah, I wasn't even nervous going into that fight. I was like, I mean, nerves keep you, nerves keep oh, going to us. I wasn't even bothered, Ricky. I fucking went out, got myself knocked out. Oh, right. Fucking heart out. wasn't in it. Heart wasn't in it. That's where that's where you all need to pack in then. So we had was it twenty professional fights? Twenty four fights, mate. Right. So were you ever getting out drinking and that in between these? Always. Oh, I. That was the thing I was doing when I was fucking. I should have just been in the gym oh, all the time. Aye. I was having a fight there. I was just off. Why fucking getting mortal drunk? Getting aye. mortal drunk <laughs> session, <laughs> session <laughs> and all. As a lot of people do, don't they? Because yeah, obviously the build up to the fight, then uh, you're you fighting. Then you definitely made. Aye. So what would you do for your next fight? Would you stop drinking and that? And stop drinking, stop everything. Like, I used to smoke and everything. I was smoking, smoke drinking, aye. fucking partying on. Uh, but then, then when I got a fight, when I got a for a fight, not wrong on the head, aye. not wrong on the head, and bang in the gym. I mean, I was all, I was when I first turned pro, I was never really. I fit for the fight. I was I had doubts in my mind when I thought oh, I was fit enough. But then when I fought the English title, I beat Danny McIntosh. I was the fittest I've been in my life. Last night. I was I was really my heart was in it then. Oh, I was bang on top of bang on my game like. So were you there when you were sessioning on a party that would did you ever into the weed or out like that or I wasn't obviously no. other stuff like obviously oh, I was now fucking bit of bit sniffing bit that of sniffing <laughs> that way. everyone does don't everyone they? does with obviously at that age as well. Oh, aye, aye. But did you ever think obviously when you were in your boxing art, you were dedicated to that, and you see all the other kids getting wrecked. And did you ever think you were missing out? Oh, like that? I just sometimes I did. I had a bit of eyes to say. Because obviously, in the, the the areas that we grew up in around here, 
Everyone's, like, everyone's doing, doing it. Everyone's doing so it. I can imagine if you're dedicating yourself to that at that age, it would have been hard, like watching definitely. other people getting wrecked, and that's what definitely I can, was me. Right? I understand how, no. Did you ever think, yeah, you were ever playing like catch up? Uh, <laughs> so you were drinking more, just think that you missed all that. Definitely, man. So going back to that, when you're wrong about that age, where do you think you would, if you didn't get into the drink and you, in between fights you weren't drinking and stuff, where do you think you would have went to? Could have went a long way, mate, to tell the truth. Everyone, people, you, tip, people were tipping us to like we were world champions and stuff, you know what I mean? I, no, I, I, I beat the best in the, I sparred with Carl Frock, but doing well with him. I'd, I'd been in, I had had every potential of going, going along, going a bit far away and like going along, you know what I mean? Oh, no, we're fucking there. Uh, as I say, I should have moved away. Maybe he's put me, put a bit of time into it and just oh, like dedicated myself for a few years of my life. But I didn't, you know what I mean? Looking back now, do you think if you could do it again, would you do it differently? I would do it different. I definitely do oh, it different. I think you would just go full dedication and get well in. Yeah. So how old are you now, Travis? 34, mate. 34 now, I. Aye. So when you quit, was it like, did you quit and just say you weren't boxing home after you? After, after that, quit, fight. I ain't done that. I. So, what were yeah. you doing after that? Were you, were you training or did you just. I was doing bits of training that I would like, I was, my heart wasn't in nothing, you know what I mean? And, and then uh, mm. I ended up going down going down the wrong path and that, like, um, get myself into trouble and collecting debt for people. Is that what you were doing? Collect, collecting debt, fucking. Um, just being daft, I kind of knacking people for money and Aye. making money that way. It was daftless, really, but. Uh, me as a money I'm a dear, really like tell you. Right. Well, like you see, we've all been there, we've all done daft things. It's about how you deal with it now and how you are now, aren't you? No, I definitely made it. Uh, getting up to um, like bits of debt collecting and all that, did you ever get any like, repercussions off it? I well, um, I've been chopped up a few times, I've been run away, um, I've been stabbed. I was like, actually, a critical hospital. I've been stabbed, lung collapse, and everything. I was in a bad way, like. Why are you? Oh, fucking hell. So what happened there? And obviously you went and did you attack someone? Went, or, yeah, I was, or did I, you? I was, I was, going, I was going to attack someone actually. I was going to attack someone. Bit of daft and uh, there. Fell come out and stuck a knife straight in this. Well, I, went, I went in squirt a petrol, squirt a petrol out of him. So I was going to set him on fire and that. <laughs> he, oh. just, he just come running and stuck a, stuck a knife straight in my collarbone there. Brought my collarbone, punctured my lung. I was fighting for about fucking a good few minutes in the garden, Aye. punching him all over. And a car pulled up with machetes and had to come over and chop Aye. the fucking, chop the death out of his leg. Fucking hell. Back my head, chipped my skull, fucking all over. I, I Did mean, you? Had you realised you'd been stabbed? At never, never realised. Been stabbed. Oh. See, my collarbone was broken. Everything else, I was, I was still fighting in the garden with fucking for the fella. Oh. Never knew it was broken. Up. Oh, Aye. So obviously, what happened? Did you end up in hospital? I end up in hospital. I was just fucking blood and felt sweat out, sweat out my collarbone. Where my lung would fucking just coming out. Oh, There's a big old blade that went in his leg. Aye. The whole way when all this happened. It's just yeah, it was like, was it? No, was it before you went back before, into prison? Before I went back to jail, I was running on being daft. So, what did you, uh, what did you, what did you think after that when that had happened? Did you didn't really deter us, mate? Oh, I, I did not think the most thing about going back with fucking <laughs> going back with one of them. Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's all, that's all I was thinking about. Please, I didn't. Please, I, please, I didn't. You know what I mean? Oh, it's good job you didn't, because obviously you wouldn't be sitting here now. Exactly, would you? Mate, definitely not. No. So, have you had any? Any other things that happen here after you, like repercussions and stuff? Yeah, uh, knee repercussions, really not. It's just, tell the truth, Ricky, what it was, it's fucking, like, people leave, like, people, cause everyone grass these days, isn't it? Oh, everyone, right. Everyone's a fucking grass, to tell the truth. I was like collecting dead, like, drug dealer, I give a drug dealer a bat once, a smack dealer. Oh, I give him a fucking clip and he grassed us. Did and he? And robbing him, I grassed us. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Fucking idiots. So you got someone that's selling a smack, you got and text him off and then he's... No, I was, it wasn't, I was doing technology, I was collecting dead. Oh, off. right, right. You, 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 you would want to pile some money. So my pal said, we collect this. So I went to fucking, uh, went to see him. He said, listen, he was come and see me. He said, I'll slice your face off. So when I seen him, I was looking at my tell the truth. I drew out the fucking car with my mum. I said, mum, wait there. I ran over, bam, one shot. Fuck them. Next day, fucking, uh, I was at Crown Court, I believe it or not. I was putting a play in for a rugby oh, charge. <laughs> like, what a Crown Court. There's fucking loads of busy waiting for us locked us up for, <laughs> for another robbery, eh? Oh, rugby no. charge. Sarah, Sarah followed him and robbed him. So what happened with that one, then? Got dropped that one, like. Oh, all right. All right. Just as well, you been, look, been lucky, oh. as I say, been lucky with these robbery trying to I mean, getting getting fucking dropped, and that's been really lucky in my past. With what like, like, well, the sentences I've done, been really lucky, but like, how long can you look going for? That's if it, I like. kept on going, Ricky, I'd be fucking either dead or in jail for a long oh. time. Definitely, man. That's the way you've got to look at it as well. Definitely, I mean, like, got to be percent. 
like your lucky stars, you're still definitely. Still I've been here, yeah, I've been there, I've been daft really. I've fucking, I've lived a bit of fucking daft life. Now it's time to settle down. It I've got a little like... girl away. I've, I've got, I've got little kids. Well, I've got a few kids. You know what I mean? So, oh, okay. three maybe girlfriend. We've got, yeah, we've got nine kids. You know what I mean? Have you? I've got <laughs> nine kids. I so. So you're very busy. <laughs> very busy. <laughs> I. So what are you? What else happened in them years? And like when you were fighting, did anything ever? Have you got shot at or out like that? Or I've been shot at. I went there, um, got a daft job once, going through the fucking smash someone's house up, pull up, pull up, drew out a car with a brick, <laughs> <laughs> and a fella, a fella come to the door with a gun and fucking fight, fight a gun and just like. <laughs> what were your thoughts? What was the thoughts? Can't do yeah. Then Bush, back, in the, back, in the, back in the car, I'm away, man. Get away as quick as possible. <laughs> fucking foot, foot down, we are. <laughs> Definitely, man. Well, like you see, they've had these uh, lucky escapes, so... Definitely, been, <coughs> I've been lucky, Ricky, as I say, I've been very, very lucky, oh, very yeah. lucky with her. Uh, I'm still alive, tell the truth. Very lucky, I'm oh, still yeah. alive, and very lucky, I haven't done a long time in jail. So, it's time, that's it. That's it, so, like, the jail sentence is like additional notes. Listen, mate, the bad... I was in, last time I was in, I was in my lads, man, they just sound stuff, say sound something like the conspiracy oh, like, yeah. on their phones. 20, 20 years, and that when they get me in 20 years, so that's sexually it is battle someone. It's easy doing it by yourself. Oh, we you are. battle someone, oh, right? Listen, you're fucking seriously hurt them. You get the fucking 20 years, and that man, no. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, like fucking. the same when you've been lucky with the sentences, fucking, I was unlucky, me, fucking IPP. I'm like, right, life right, license, right. you know, it's a fucking. It's bad. Oh, yeah, I've, got, I've, got, I've got a week left of probation. Oh, that's yeah. me done. Clean after five years, that's me done. Oh, you are well, man. Happy <laughs> days, so, yeah. Wasn't I? So is that the first time you felt free then? First time I will be in five, aye, five, well, five, five years. It's going to be the first time I felt free, yeah. Aye, no yep. probation on no over your head and nothing like that. Cause not, definitely not, mate. There's no worse as when you've got probation Fuck going wrong, all the time. And even though you're not doing out wrong, you're always thinking that something's aye. going to happen, haven't you? Definitely, mate. Because that's the way I feel, though. Obviously, you're, even though I'm not doing out, every time you go to probation, you always think... You th get daft thoughts in your head, you just think something's going to go wrong, don't you? <laughs> even though you've done fuck all wrong. Definitely, definitely. And they've got that hold over you, haven't they? Definitely. But, yeah... Is there else you want to write about them mad years that you had? Not really, mate. Just glad, no. to, glad they're over. With, glad, <laughs> glad, glad they're over. With, glad I've got a good woman and fucking settled down. Oh, yeah. Gonna live my life. So when was it when you first got in a like serious trouble with the coppers? Then after your after um, your professional fights, I think it was about fucking five years ago. Someone I went to uh, end up getting jailed for fucking bashing someone. Did you? I was that the first time you first went to time prison? I went to jail. I. How old were you then? Five, about twenty nine. About twenty nine. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Oh, something like. How long did you get then? I got two months, that was all it was. Did you ever get Romano or was it just like that? Just that was a just two months for you. And then, uh, wait, I've told you, I've been in six times in jail. Six times? Six times. Like it's daft. I've been looking over the fucking wheel charge that had been dropped and stuff like that. No. You know what I mean? What was it like the first time then? Fucking... Was that right? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not bad, really, is it? I know what you, you mean. Like, when you're in that frame of mind and you didn't give a fuck, especially when you're in your uh, 20s. I, you go into prison and you're just like I was myself. You're, not you're, like, you're not really bothered, are you? Definitely not, man. Well, you've still got them thoughts in your head, like thinking, like, Aye, what's going to what's right, it be like and all that. Definitely. What what thoughts were going through your head? Obviously, with you being knowing how to handle yourself, were you thinking if anyone fucks on I was on thinking, him, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was thinking, I was, what's going to happen? Like, there's going to be a few lads messing on and off to get a hide, you know what I mean? But <laughs> it was no such thing, like, there was no one. Aye. No one, again, like, oh, see, a load of people knew was off the box, you know what I mean? Aye. I think I got more respect when I went there. I think I, right. when you're a big kid, big lad as well, going into prison, there's not a lot of people want to mess with you. Nah, is a fuck, mate. There no, is a lot of it. shit happens in the prisons. People think there isn't, but there's a lot of bullying oh, going on. Definitely in that. loads of bullying, mate. But yeah, obviously, so. big lads like me and you, definitely people are all over you, up your ass, aren't they? Just <laughs> <laughs> definitely, mate. <yeah. laughs> so where was it? Obviously, was it Durham that you? Went I was to? in Durham, then I went to uh, down to the home house. I see it was only fucking short one. My first oh, one was, it was a little breakaway, wasn't it? <laughs> Been time oh, off the yeah, drink, and that. Yeah, definitely. So obviously, there's a lot of uh, drugs and that in prison. Where you did you never touch the thing, mate? Never touch the thing. Kept yourself fresh. I kept myself fresh. I come out, come out, load heavier. Aye, right. lot heavier and fucking. Uh, so what did good. you do when you come out after your first time? Did you just go session straight away? <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of people do, don't they? Really? I know, as you get in your head, you see, I'm not going to do it, not going to do it again. Aye. You come out of jail, it's, fucking, it's far too easy, mate. It's far too easy, and when you're in prison and people's getting out, all they're talking about is getting out. Right. Oh, it's it's one time, so, mate, everyone's talking about it. Unless you're strong minded and you say, I'm not like that, I'm not going down that path again. Definitely. Like, even if you say it to yourself, you're not going to. And you've got these people on about it every single day, <laughs> you're just thinking, oh, fuck it. <laughs> 100%, you <yeah. clears throat> Because when I, uh, I'd done six months of remand, my first time, I got out when I, I got out after six months. 
and I'd done the right. same. I went to Creamfields a few days after Did fucking you? flat out. Right, oh, right. Yeah. But, um, so, how long after that did you go back to prison? I think it was a, uh, maybe, maybe six months later or something. I think it was like, just, it was like a daft breach of, breach of probation. Was it I? Been back in for breach of probation, back out, but I was just like, I wasn't really bothered, you know what I mean? I wasn't getting the preparation, I wasn't, oh, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't complying with no, you know what I mean? I was just, nothing, I just didn't give a fuck about just nothing. Didn't, just wasn't a deterrent or no like was, that? There was, <laughs> no, there was no, no botheries made, I was just being run round, run round daft. Oh, okay. Fucking, as I say, collecting debt and fucking bashing people's heads in it and <laughs> making money anywhere I could, you oh, know what I mean? Like, uh, at the time, like you say, though, and you're in that frame of mind, you're just not arsed, are you? Just not making that. Especially Daphne. if you're drinking and taking drugs, you just fucking you lose your inhibitions, don't you? Nah, exactly, mate, definitely. Sometimes you wait up the next day and think, fuck, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what, what, fuck, what have I done? <laughs> but like you see, you can learn from it and look back and think, definitely, mate, million percent, you know, million percent. Never to go back there. Million <laughs> percent. Where I went downtown, I got um, another time I got, I got up that time, I got, I got done for breach of probation again, and they took us out to Leeds. And then fucking Preston, I've been like, I've been out like, in the future, I had Leeds and Preston. down there, I Well, I took us down there. What was it like down there? Fucking shit, all Preston. Like, this is like, horrible, man. Horrible. Full of scouts and monks and that. Die, but like, fucking tell us what's like, it's a scruffy. Is it like? Fucking mice out of the place. Aye. <laughs> you fucking can't wear your own tracksuits, you've got to, you got to wear your fucking grey tracksuits and then jail tracksuits. When you're talking about mice in prison, fucking hell, brought back a memory that there when I was just in home house last time. Aye. Everyone used to keep talking about these mice running in the pads. Love. I remember two o'clock in the morning, we heard this little scratching noise that woke us up, and I was thinking, what the fuck's that? And I've looked under the bed, there was a mouse in the corner scratching away in the wall. <laughs> Chased the little corner, just went under the door. The gap was like that, I just squeezed itself yeah, under yeah. the door. Fucking... So, what was the uh, what was the longest sentence you've done, man? Longest I've done is the last one I've done. I've already done, I've done four and a half months inside. On, it was on remand. On remand, aye. But it was like, it was, by, it was on robbery charges. <laughs> The last two ice I've been in has been on robbery charges. Was it like? Both getting dropped. Dropped or assault. Did it so like? I've been looking really like, you know what I mean? So what happened? Did you like, plead guilty to the assault? And then I pled guilty to the assault, got six got months. Aye. Aye. So where did you do your time at then? That was in St. Durham on remand. In Durham, aye. Aye. What was the one, like the one before that was a load of shite. I fucking, I, I give the kid a bat. He said he was going to shoot us and that. So I give the kid a bat. Well, he hit him once. <laughs> he said I fucking robbed him for a fucking tenner. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I rubbed him in the got fucking jail. Turned out he was a fucking prolific liar, you know what I mean? He was a fucking bad, bad liar. <laughs> so he fucking got dropped with assault. Fucking divvy. Oh, he's fucking hell. So where did you spend your time at there? Was that just in Durham as well? Durham, like? mate, I. Have you ever been up here at Auckland now? Oh, oh, mate, Northumberland now, I. And I've never been up there, mate. Now that sounds tough, I was, I was, I was I like, I, I would... <laughs> if any did, I would have, I would have liked Rupert. I mean, it's, <laughs> I, I mean, people say it's good, like, mate. Like, uh, as what jails can I be. I know what you mean, I. If Obviously, when you're in jail, aye. if you're in Durham, no one wants to go into home house. Aye. Everyone so wants to go to back home. Aye. Aye. aye, definitely. That's normal because uh, home house is fucking, it's shite, there's no there, there's shit, no, right, no right, phones, right, no right, drugs, right, no right, right, so right, people right. want to go up, definitely. up there for that reason. Then, so. Definitely, mate. But um, when you went in this time, did you say to yourself that you, that was it? And you wanted well, this time when I went in, I, feel like I, met, I met a new lass before I went in. I was right? only been with her a couple of weeks, Lydia she's called. Yeah. Uh, only been with her a couple of weeks. But I knew like that I wanted to be with her, you know what I mean? So oh, right. and she kept us right over on the phone that she like I knew she was the one for us, you know what I mean? Oh, so this time when I went in, like last time I had in my head like it wasn't gonna work away and I got oh, up right. I didn't like I've, I've sorted myself out, we've got a got a new house and that me and her, got a baby on the way. Oh, it's good to see me out there. So, Obviously, when you've started coming in the gym and I'm seeing you're looking healthy. Oh, you're it's training. a lot healthier, mate. I feel, I feel a lot better. put a lot of weight oh, back on. Yeah, I got to go out of jail. I, was, I went in at 13 and a half stone. I went in jail. Oh, I was in four and a half months. I got 18 stone. Oh, it's it's good to see you now when you see lads like yourself oh, like, come out oh, and oh, change your life around, obviously. Yep. A lot of it is like you've just mentioned. If you've got a good woman got on a good your side. behind you, mate. Listen, that's all you need to know. Like, like, in the past, there's been fucked about you. know what I mean? Like, if you've got a good woman on your side, you're fucking winning, aren't definitely, you? Mate, <laughs> definitely, 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 well, definitely, yeah, definitely, man. congratulations on the Cheers baby as well. Pass, pass, pass pass on. She's due in, uh, due in a few weeks, about well, five, six, six weeks. Little uh, Darcy, we're going to call a little girl. But uh, you were saying the other week where you're going to be going into the, the bare knuckle. That's what I want to do, bare knuckle, mate. I, I could have been, there was a show on in November, like, in a few weeks' time. Ah, it's that BKFC, it. isn't it? It's, aye. Well, I was going to get try and get on it. Like, I hadn't been told, I, I, I tried to get on it. But my baby's due the day after the show, right. and it's just like rough that fucking time. So right, I haven't, I haven't bothered like ringing the fella back and asking, like, asking to be honest. You're doing the right thing because obviously it's 
It's not going to be. If you want to be, I would have been, 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 been reminding every now and then, but uh, it's something I'm definitely going to do. Aye. Maybe it'll be next year now, so everyone watch out for us. Aye, I'm to go <laughs> crack. But yeah, uh, that BKFC, I've just had Danny Christie on the last podcast there, and he's fighting on that one. Aye, aye. Yeah, I think it's, is it at the Walker Dome? It's somewhere because I don't know where it is. <clears throat> I've never, never heard where it is. I thought it was going to be in the arena, to tell the truth. But aye, well, that's where I thought it was at first. That's where I thought it was going to be, aye. But yeah. Um, Mickey Terrell, he's fighting that no, as Mickey well. Terrell's, I think he's heading the building. Is he, uh, yeah. have you ever sparred with him? I've done a bit of sparring with him, aye. He's, aye. A, he's a good lad, awkward. Big lad, isn't he? Aye, he's, <laughs> a big, he's a big awkward lad, aye. So obviously you've, uh, like you say, you've come out, you've got a good woman on your side, you've got a job map now as well, haven't you? Aye, I've got from my brother, but um, I'm, look, I'm looking to start my own business up as well. Doing, going to do, doing my heavy goods license, get myself a wagon and that. And aye. I'm going to start, I'm going to sort myself out. So nice you, one, yeah. Fair play, yeah. I bet you are a... Uh, I bet you're John's buzzing, he's... Uh, ah, he's out in the middle, senior. John, like. Senior. Definitely, Looking man. after yourself, not looking Definitely healthy. Definitely, he's out in the middle. As you see, like, a lot of people in football have washed their hands of us, you know what I mean? But uh, the way I went on daft, you know what I mean? I could have gone to it, but I went on... So I, went, I, mean, I had a bad few, you know what I mean? A lot of people would have washed their hands of us, but I come out and he stuck by us and he'd give us, he'd give us that fucking... That kick and he, you know, that aye. little start and he did a good job and that. And... Shout out to John. Aye. Nice one, mate. Cheers, bro. <laughs> what a... Um... What's your John out there now? Is he, is he getting he's got, his, he's got his own business, obviously, with uh, Block Paving, Tarmac and that, and he's doing really well for himself. He's got a family, little family, a couple of lads. Is he training now? Because obviously... He's training now. He's got to do a bit. He snapped his leg last year, didn't he? Did Before he Christmas. Oh. <laughs> drunk, <laughs> drunk, drunk in the big bar. <laughs> Slipped out. Snapped his leg clean off. Did he? Like both oh, bones, I. Okay, no. So he's had, he, had, he had trouble with that, but he's back on his feet now. and uh, he's, he's back training. He's just going to that uh, G&E gym that he's training there. Is he there. Like? He's doing bits, eh? Is he ever going to go back into anything? Nah, or? I don't know. Oh. He's, he's had his nose... He's had, he's had, he's had, he's had his nose straight. <laughs> and has he? Oh. He's a married man now, you know what I mean? He's he's... Nah, it's somebody else I can't back into, like. But he's done well, he doesn't need to, you know what I mean? He's done well out of it. Aye, oh, he's man. His, aye. So, like you see, like, yeah... Uh, so, what are the plans have you got for the future? Obviously, you're going to concentrate on the BKFC. <laughs> Just, just that, that's what I want to do. Bear looking like I've, I've had one bear little fight. I fought a guy called the um, Marco Martin Jack. I fought him. I got beat like uh, he brought me face. I had him, had him down twice in the first round. Did you? Aye? Had him down. He was. He was. I thought he was packing. You know what I mean? I got. I was a bit too eager. I was rushing a bit too fucking headstrong. You know what I mean? Aye. He caught us a big shot. Didn't put us down, but uh, smashed all my cheekbone. And the, the doctor stopped us. Where was that at? That was at Liverpool in the Echo Arena. Was it? Aye. Aye. So what's it like going into a bear knuckle fight compared to? Like a professional fight? Fuck, it hurts a lot more. Like. <laughs> 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 you feel every shot, like... Oh, I... <laughs> you, feel, you feel the fucking just knuckles in the air, there, you can feel them. With that BKFC, I don't know if that was the same as what you're on. You've actually got to have your knuckles bare on that one. Aye, it's, it's just like across the band. Aye. Just go across there. The band just go just there. Aye, aye, definitely, aye. aye. <coughs> I uh, see, you know, you know, you know, they were daffies off the streets, you know aye. what I mean? Like, you're on the streets and you're fighting some daffies, but they catch you, it's, a, it's fucking hell. You're in with train fucking hard men who can fucking punch hard, you know what I mean? And you're taking them shots on your head, you, you feel them, like, but I mean, if you're taking shots, you know what I mean? I like it, you know what I mean? I like I see a fucking air uh, when you're feeling shots like that compared to the gloves, it's got to be. Aye. Right. Are you still in the zone when you're in there and you're like, can't oh, really yeah. feel it at the time? Oh, yeah, I definitely oh, feel that from the zone. We know the pro gloves, you know, like, there's, there's not much in a pro glove, you know. There's enough. Nah, <laughs> you're fucking in your hands, your hands are wrapped in the pros, there's loads of tape on you, you use oh, as much tape as you want, and they're like bricks your hands, you know. Just... Oh, you can't, you can't hurt your hand like bricks. Oh, right. It's fucking, it, it, it does hurt in the pros as well, like. So, uh, when you were going through, uh, obviously, your bar patch and stuff, when you were just getting wrecked, was, uh, was there a reason behind it or were you just going off it? I don't know, I mean, it was just toughness. Just stuff as I don't, I just sometimes stuff. you get I was stuck in the past, mate. Please, I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna do it. It is, I everything right now. You know everything I mean? you do now, you just concentrate on the future. That's it's in the past, fa- it's my family. I mean, the, exactly. the, the, the past, the past, me and the future. Like, I'm looking forward to, to a good future. I exactly the same with me. Every, all I'm bothered about now is my family. Obviously, the way we've been, we've been similar, aye. been to prison and all that, aye. fucking aye. been on sessions, and our families had to suffer by aye, watching exactly. us, you know. So exactly. now. Everything uh, we do, family man, no one else. Right, my mum, my mum sleeps a lot better now as well. Like my uh, mum, my mum was a nervous wreck. You know when I was in that jail, that being daft, she was there. Uh, she was never used to sleeping that much. She was a nervous wreck in that month, but uh, she's she's a lot happy. My mum's a lot happy. So I'm pleased. Uh, I'm pleased. I've done it for her as well. You know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. Because uh, like you see, we've put our mothers through a lot of shit. I'm fucking sure. Million percent, kid. Well, they've stuck by us all the way. I've stuck not never, uh, never questioned us. Never, never, mothers never did. Always come and see us, mum. Then always always come on visits to see us, and that's all. Do you suffer with your mental health and stuff? 
I didn't really. I'd like, no. I, I, I did in the past and that. Like, uh, I, you know, just, you know, like the gym, coming to the gym, that helps aye. helps a lot. Totally, aye. Like, if I don't, if I don't, if I've got nothing to set my mind out, like, I do, I do, like, my mind does go a bit dark. I've never, like, had, like, been seen for a you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, uh, it definitely does. Training keeps you right, doesn't it? It does. Having, having something to focus your mind, like, this bare little, aye. like, it's something I, I like doing. Keep, it, give, it gives you a target, gives you a aim, some, something to aim for, and keeps your head strong, you know what I mean? That's what I always do. I always set myself targets. Obviously, I've got a fight aye. coming up, the white collar boxing aye, fight. Aye, I'll be there. I'll be yeah, I've done like tough mother and stuff like that since yep. I've been out of prison. Yeah. If you focus on something, it keeps your mind Just busy. Does, it does stops it, you does from it. stops your mind from. Makes, it, makes you happier doing this now. What I'm doing now, training every aye. training every day, and I'm just fucking. I'm a much happier man. You know, when you wake up on a morning, you're happy though. Just fucking, oh, they're fresh, you know, fresh, and just happy. <laughs> wake, wake up, wake up every fucking day, just happy. fresh and happy. I do. I love life at the minute, mate. Love aye. it, loving it, man. But um. We'll wrap that up now because yeah, I think we've had a good chat. We'll maybe do a part two if the uh, viewers want to see some more. Aye, yeah, aye. A bit more about the boxing and the bare knuckle. But Sounds. if you watch out, Travis is here. Uh, he's going to be doing the BKFC next year at some point. Yep. But I'm going to finish with a question that I ask all my uh, guests, Travis. What would you say to the kids now going off the reels and going down the tracks that we went down? Stay at school, kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, I didn't go to school there. Uh, keep off. Keep out of trouble, keep off all the drugs, don't, don't go to drugs, don't go to drink. I go to the gym, go to the local gym, do something, get yourself a hobby and just uh, just focus on that. Don't be daft. You got to life's much better when you're doing life's much better now. You know what I mean? Just have a good life, kids. Exactly, aye. But yeah, uh, thanks very much, Travis. Cheers, Paul. Cheers, mate. Aye, sound. Pleasure.